Shala Yawan and Amy Yahaw Bashima Asha Hakaha Hakaha Wayala Yabah Shama Hasha. Glory to the Most High Power in the name of His anointed Son, Jesus Christ. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the open forum. Uh, and also, we're going into the biblical law class tonight. I'm going to take y'all into a very important topic that all Israel should know due to the fact that we're living in these times when there's doctrines of devils amongst the people. You see these tribes right here? You got to watch your people. Jeremiah chapter 9. When you come into this truth, it's not only about, we know the white man is the devil. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got to also understand that we got devils amongst us, mm -hmm. but our people. And Israel was holy unto the Lord, as it says in Jeremiah chapter 2. Now, we don't turn toward paganism mm -hmm. and doctrines of devils. So, right. This subject is going to be called veganism. Veganism. Put this in your notes. Whoredoms and doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 15. I'll open in scripture for tonight. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 15. This Bible is our guide. While we're in this captivity, and while you're in this body, in this life that we live here, in this captivity, the scriptures are going to edify you to what's going on amongst the people and what you got to look out for. It's not only the white man is the devil, you also got enemies amongst your people. Come on. And when you get yourself sanctified and purified from the ways of the nations and Gentiles and your people, which are still out there in the world. They're going to come up against you. But this is your defense. The Bible. the Bible. That's why the Lord said, put on your whole arm of the Most High through Mahasha, Jesus Christ, or Yahweh Shai. So let's go to opening scripture, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 15 in this bit. We look for peace, but no good come, came. And for a time of health, and behold, trouble. Hmm. Jeremiah tells you that it's time of Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. That's the time that we're living in. And why, why is this nation in trouble? In Jeremiah 30 and, and 7, Alas, for the day is great, and none is like it. For it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. But he shall be saved out of it. We as a nation are in trouble because we left these commandments, laws, and statutes and the discipline thereof. This is why we are in trouble as a nation. Our brothers and our sisters have forsaken the most high. Let's prove that. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Oh yeah, sisters is in here too, but we have an order for everything. And the law and the testimony is our order. We have to follow what Yahweh Shah said and what the apostles wrote down in these chapters of the Bible Amen. in order for us to have stability. stability. Wisdom and, and knowledge, Lord, be the stability of your times, saith the Lord. And this is what the Lord said. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32. And he said this. Verse 18. That begot thee, thou art unmindful. What are people unmindful of, people? They're unmindful that they're the Most High's people. Psalms 100. We belong to the Most High. We don't even belong to ourselves. Amen. Our little, our little lent lives here on this planet was lent to us by the Most High in Yahweh. The Amen. only power. Amen. The only true God, true, power in heaven, power. the Allah, the Allah, and we are unappreciative. And He's gonna tell you this right here. And have forgotten your power that formed thee. See, we think it's all about us now. Mm -hmm. I see brothers online talking about 
I am a servant of the Most High. I have power. I have this. I have that. I looked in the Bible. I said, you ain't got no power, Jacob. What are you power. talking about? Yahweh got the power. Yahweh is Allah. Allah is Allah. And we said that in ancient times. The nations picked up on what we used to say, and it's all through the Middle East, but they're talking about a moon god named Allah now. Mm -hmm. When we say Allah in the Hebrew, it's talking about the Most High. Mm -hmm. When we say Yahweh or Wayalaya, I am that I am, we're talking about the power of Israel in the translation. And when Yahweh saw it, he had hoard them because of the provoking of his sons and his daughters. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that? So the brothers and sisters of Israel, you need to know your role, shut your hole. Mm -hmm. Our role as brothers is I is do is in uh, Ezekiel chapter 34. 34. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 34 in their last verse. We were given these commandments to lead our people, our sisters were given a category of supporting us in this knowledge. There's no way in the Bible that tells you that a woman is a pastor or anything like that. No way. That's against the law. Mm -hmm. It's against common sense and it's not in here. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 31 says, And my flock, the flock of my pasture, all men. All men. And I am Yahweh. Say Save Yahweh. Yahweh power. Pa thy power. Thy power. So the men of Israel got to step up to be men of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Not men of this world. Right. And in this world right now, our people are sick. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 32, 39. Come. Why are our people sick? And you got people out here, fanatics, and I call y'all hippies, <laughs> running around and talking about, you got it. Get away from meat in order for you to be healthy. You got to eat vegetables and you got to eat meat. No, they tell you in Genesis that the Lord made them. And for every seed, and he made us eat fruits and seed of itself. You know, some of our people are so ignorant that you got to pray for them. Did he not make Animal. man and woman? Did he not make animals of male and female? Did he not give us the law that says eat this type of animal and don't eat that type of animal? Right. Amen. They just read one scripture and go off. That's why I call you a bunch of hippies. Yeah. And I'm going to show you where this stuff came from and y'all going to laugh this evening. Deuteronomy 32, 39 says this. See now. See now. I, even I, am he. I am most high. Uh, why you like Why you like him? And there is no power with me. That means the most high sits on his throne by himself. Yahweh is second in command. The angels, the archangels, the 24 elders, and all the rest of them are up underneath his job. Even Satan. That's right. Is up there with him, the spiritual Satan. Spirit. He comes before the Most High, and the Most High tell him what to do. Right. Ain't no other power up there with him except Yahweh. Except Yahweh, thank you, Lord. Ain't no Shango up there. Ain't no Buddha up there. Right. Ain't no Shiva up there. Ain't no Buddha God up there. Ain't no Rain God. Ain't none of them up there, but Yahweh. But Yahweh. See what he says? I kill. And I make alive. What? Lord, Lord the most high kills and make alive. Mm -hmm. who, 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 who's, is that in the Bible? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. I wound and I heal. So the nation of Israel has been wounded. Why have we been wounded? Because we left the most high's knowledge. For what? Apocrypha. Yep. Let's go to the Ecclesiasticus chapter 19, verse 22. Amen. We're going to break it down to the nitty gritty. So when you run into these vegan, skinny, anorexic, right. sick 
people amongst us who don't eat meat because a brother or a sister of these tribes got doctrines of devils from somebody else other than the Bible and they told you to stop eating meat. Right. And you walking around like this. Or something, your skin hanging off your body. Kind. You cough in your bags under your eyes. Sick. And when it get cold, you got on four coats. Mm -hmm. mm. That ain't a diet I want to be on. Right. That's right. Kind of and that's not kind. the diet the most I told us to eat in this Bible. Mm -hmm. So okay. let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 22. This is what's wrong with our people. Each verse, scripture upon scripture, according to what the law and the testimony will tell us how to live. The knowledge of, wis of wickedness is not wisdom. Mm. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Wickedness, no matter what form it is, mm -hmm. comes in a lot of categories. Huh. It's not wisdom. Neither is any time the counsel of the sinners prudent. So aren't these nations sinful down here on this planet? We went off, so what are the Chinese, Japanese, East Indian, Arabs, and all the rest of them, and the so-called white men? The devil. The devil. They're the sons of men. Sons. That's right. Just like in the category before the flood. Sons of the Most High, oh, the sons of men, and the wicked, right. which was Cain's people. Cain. Now you got that same scenario back here on the other side of the flood. Right. Now the Most High is showing you knowledge of wickedness is not prudent. So anything you learn from these wicked nations is going to bring you down. Because this is what you're supposed to be dealing with. Go to the next scripture, Isaiah 8 and 20. That's right. Bring it out. What are we supposed to be dealing with? If you don't hear this coming out these teachers' mouths, run out that place that you go to. And I'm going to show you tonight. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and the testimony. You hear that? If they don't bring you the law and the testimony, meaning the testimony of the prophets, open the front of your Bibles, it says, books of the Old and New Testament, mm -hmm. Testament, Amen. meaning Old and New, Apocrypha included, yep. all soul. Look at that. Yep. If they're not teaching you the law and the testimony, if they're not teaching that, what did the Lord say? If they're not teaching that, Isaiah 8 and 20, he said this. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. The light is the most high. Right. That's right. And in his law, he gave us, he got order. 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 The laws of life. Go to Ecclesiastes 1919. Go back to Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha. What laws of life? Let me show you. The commandments, commandments. are the laws of life. They give you uh, the knowledge, knowledge the on how to live righteously, lawfully, Believe. in this world. Now we got Yahweh Shai. Amen. Or Ayla Yasha, the anointed Savior. Or Mahasha. Or like we used to say in old camps, Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. as our Savior. Okay. And in Revelations, it says, the Most High got an elect group mm -hmm. keeping the commandments the faith. and what? The faith. the faith of His Son. You got camps out here and schools out here, institutions out here of Israel, they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. And if mm -hmm. they don't believe in Yahweh Shai, get out of there. Because that's against what the book says. See what it says in Ecclesiastes 19? The 19. The 19 verse. The knowledge of the commandments mm -hmm. of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. Come. You hear that? This is where you're supposed to be conducting your life. Why do you think our people ain't got no life on this planet right now? Look what they did to the president of Haiti. Went in there and blew that man's brains out because them Haitian brothers and sisters is off for the commandments of life. The Lord said we're going to turn into murderers. That's 
That's right. And we got that amongst Judah and Benjamin and all them other tribes. You go down there, it's a third world hell hole. Amen. And now we got people running around mm -hmm. here telling us not to keep the commandments of life. Mm -hmm. So what it says here? Well, yeah, well. Huh. The doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. No one Yahweh shall said, I didn't. That young man came to him. He right. said, how do I how do I inherit eternal life? He said, keep, keep what? The commandments. Keep the commandments. Matthew. The brothers and the sisters. He didn't say, go to the Jehovah Witness Temple or go to the Muslims or go to our, our lot of media, right? He didn't say that. That's why you call me good. There's only one that's good. That's your home. Yahweh Shah always spoke about his father. Right. And he spoke about who he was in a parable to the non-believers. But unto the disciples, he said, unto you is given mm -hmm. keys to the kingdom. But unto them, parables. That's why some of our people who say they Israel think they know the scriptures. They don't. Because they they're their disciples and they're not the elect. There's an elect out here. Then you got the regular common lost some of our people in these law schools that only teach the Torah and they pray and all that. You say, you believe in Yahweh Shah? No, huh. brother, we don't. I do. Mm. We don't believe in him. Tell you that in the book of Corinthians. They got a veil over their eyes. So you want to follow a man that got a veil over his eyes? Or you want to follow a man that's in the truth? And be an example. And show you the way. And Yahweh Shah said, I'm the way. Truth and the life. Huh. So, let's go to the next scripture. First Timothy chapter 4. The apostles said this, the law and the testimony of the apostles of Yahweh Shah. They left these records according to Romans 15 and 4 for our learning now, so that we through comfort of the scriptures might have hope. First Timothy chapter 4 says this, now the spirit speak of what spirit? The spirit of Yahweh Shah. Shah. Speak of expressively the Holy Spirit. That in a lot of times, some shall depart from the faith. That's right. Come. You hear that? You're going to have brothers and sisters come in here, and they're going to leave. Yep. They're going to leave you. They're going to leave me. They're going to say to hell with you. I don't believe. <laughs> Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Now you got seducing spirits out here. And doctrines of what? Devils. Meaning other books, other than the Bible, other than the law and the testimony, we read to you and show you. And you can read it all, all right, right, right at home or in a kind of assembly anyway. On the street, it's the same body. All camps and assemblies of Israel of the elect should be subject to what? Yahweh Shah and the law and the testimony. Period. Period. I come to your camp, you can't tell me, no, nah, we don't do that here. You better read what the mm -hmm. scriptures say. You better be doing this or you ain't going to be saved. Amen. It ain't about your little camp and your little camp leader that's living with his father and his father's telling him to come go over here and his one brother living in the basement with his mom. Mm -hmm. You ain't no man yet. How you going to counsel people when you still a boy? Mm -hmm. The most high is in men. He said, my flock or my pastor are men. Amen. I'm a man. I run my house, I run this school, and I run my life in this body. That's what makes you a man. And what makes you a sister? You submit to this and keep the commandments. That's what makes you a lady. Okay? Doctrine of the devil, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot eye. Now you're going to get people, their head going to be like this. Every The book's pulling them right. into the damn pits of hell. Because a conscience is seared with a hot iron, meaning that you're brainwashed. And we come up with the Bible trying to scrub that stuff off of you, and you reject the word of the Lord. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. You hear that? These groups out here are telling you not to eat meat. Did this. Didn't they say that right there in the Bible? Forbidden to marry. And Don't eat meat, brother. Meats. Because that's poison. And the animals, you're killing the beasts. We don't do that. 
That's what the nations don't do. That's right. What did Yahweh say in the Bible? Let's move on. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. What did Yahweh say in the scriptures? This is what he said right here. Oh, uh, for many, for there be many in, in that parish in this life. Y'all hear that? Many will perish in this life. Because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. Moral, silver, dietary laws, ceremonial laws. We must keep. Yahweh did not do away with commandments. Mm -hmm. He came to fulfill. Mm -hmm. He said none of the commandments will be taken away. He said you're under grace but establish the law amongst yourselves. Amen. That's how you please Yahweh and walk in the faith yes. and the commandments. Like Abraham did. Like we're doing now. See? For Yahweh has given straight commandments. He gave what? Straight, straight commandments. commandments. You read the Ten Commandments, then you go to the mall, silver dot. When the high holy days come in, he didn't say keep Easter. Right. He didn't say keep New Year's. Come. He didn't say keep Halloween. Come. He said keep the Sabbath. Every right. Sabbath got to be kept. Amen. The best of your ability. That's rehearse right. it. That's, right. That's why he said in the land of drawn waters, we're going to rehearse the righteous acts. Come. He's given straight commandments to such as Cain. That they should, uh, should do to live. Even as they came. That they should observe to avoid punishment. God. To avoid punishment. Faggots getting put to death. Right. AIDS. Coronavirus. Uh, cancer. Sickness and diseases. Why is it here? The scripture said in Jeremiah 8 and 15. We look for peace. But behold trouble and no healing. You know why this nation is sick? And you little vegan groups out there, we're gonna expose y'all butts tonight. Mm -hmm. That's right. You cannot heal nobody with a cup of that vegan juice. Mm -hmm. Come on. You see people that's out there that's sick because the most high said, I wounded, I, I, I heal. And I heal. Israel's wounded right now Amen. because they did not keep mm -hmm. the most high commandments. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I don't know where y'all getting this from, but I know where y'all getting it from. You're getting it from these doctrines of devils that's out here right. and these nations giving y'all all type of counsel of their gods. And we're going to expose them tonight because the Lord said he gave us straight commandments to avoid punishment. If you avoid the most high's wrath, then you won't be sick. Right. You won't be in jail. Time. You won't be a murderer. That's right. Because the discipline and fear of the most high keeps you straight. Amen. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 12. Jeremiah, this nation is sick. Come. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 12 tells you that. See what it says here? Come. It says in the 12th verse. For thus save your heart. Thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. Mm. Aren't our people in captivity right now? Aren't our people sick? Don't we got diseases, plague, and all type of mannerisms of sin amongst us? Why? Because our people in Isaiah chapter 1 are sinful nation our of people, people laid with iniquity. iniquity. Mm -hmm. And they're forsaking your house. So when you forsake your house and these commandments, then the curse comes in. So in Jeremiah 30 and 12, it says, uh, There is none to plead thy cause, for thou mayest be bound up, that, uh, and thou hast no healing medicines. Healing medicines. You hear that? Yeah. There is yeah. no cure for our people's dilemma in a class of vegan jokes. <laughs> That's right. You can eat all the vegetables you want. Right. You can dry up and blow away with these little guru so-called witch doctors mm -hmm. out here telling you don't eat meat. Mm. 
telling you, this is the way the Lord going. We got to go back to the look. Where tell you in the Bible the Lord said go back to eating vegetables? Nowhere. Nowhere in the Bible. Only. Bottom, you can eat vegetables and you can eat herbs. Right. That's part of the biblical, biblical uh, ancient ways. ways. But he said there's a moral law in the Bible right. that we have to follow. And we got to follow. See? So our people are sick right now. And they're trying to find out why they're sick. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 11. Let's go. Leviticus chapter 11. Here, go right here. So, y'all keeping the commandments? Yes, or sir. or y'all in there keeping the church doctrines? Keeping the commandments. Let's see what they're doing in the so-called groups out here. And the Lord spake to Moses and to Aaron. Who's Moses? The lawgiver. Mm -hmm. Mashal Banroy. Yep, Mashal Banroy. Gave Israel the law coming up out of Egypt. Yahushua is the Savior. He brought grace. Moses brought the law. Yahushua brought grace. Brought grace. That's in St. John. Tell you that in the book of St. John's, first right. chapter. Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And Aaron said unto them, Speak to the children of Israel. Y'all see? see this sign here? Yes, yep. Judah. Male and female. Children of Israel, right here. Those of you that got that 12 trial book, study it. And you'll find out who all your people are. Mm -hmm. The ones that's out there talking about Africans and all that is part of us. Wow. You're going to get cut in the last days. You're going to be exposed as liars and deceivers. And when the Lord come back here, you better hope you repent it. Because you're going to put your head on chopping block. That's right. And I don't want to be in a part when the Lord mm -hmm. says, get away from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't want to be in a camp like that mm -hmm. or a group. Because mm -hmm. when he do that, that means you're going to get put to death. Put to death. You workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. Speak to the children of Israel, saying, these are the beasts which you shall eat among the beasts which are on the earth. On the earth. Wait a minute. That's a commandment, ain't it? God. Yes, it is. You can eat beasts on the earth. He gave you a category which fishes may be eaten, forbidden creatures to be eaten, mm -hmm. pig, pig, rabbits, bats, crab, pangolins, crab creepy rocks. crawlers on the ground, yep. snails, Nails. rats, dogs, all of that cannot be eaten. Can't eat it. That's right. And that's why you got that crap from Wuhan, China, and all them snakes and all them rats and all that crap they was eating got into them damn Moabite system mm -hmm. and caused a plague. The Lord said in uh, Matthew 24 verse 7 it's going to be plagues. And plagues come from sin. Come. Sin brings forth death. Death. And he said it was going to happen on the earth and here it is. So he said you can eat certain beasts on earth. Right. Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Cow. Cows. Goat. Sheep. Sheep. Lamb. Goats. Chicken. These are a few animals according to the law that you can eat. You can eat. But what do you have to do? These are what these vegans say that you can't kill an animal. Mm. Really? Mm. Let's go to Leviticus. Our creator says this. Let's go to the law. Let's go to the law. See, if they don't come Leviticus with the law, 17, the there's no 13. right in them. Leviticus 17 and 13. Go to Leviticus chapter, it's the law of life, right? Mm -hmm. Are we reading the laws of life? Yes. Uh, yes. So when somebody tells you you can't do that, you show them this verse. Go to Leviticus 17, 13. And whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel, talking about us again, mm -hmm. or of the stranger that's the journal with you, which hunteth. Mm. What does a hunter do? I'm a hunter. Mm -hmm. I hunt fish mm -hmm. out of the ocean that got fins and scales, okay. like blues and stripers. Huh. The rest of them, crabs, I don't eat nope. that stuff. Nope. I, I catch certain animals and it ain't according to the law, law. I throw their butts back in the water. Butts back in the water. But blues and stripers, I hunt for. That's in the law. You can hunt beasts also. If you go out there and shoot a deer or elk right. or a buffalo, there's nothing wrong with that. That's right. 
That's in the wall. Their dad go hunting, and they land over here. They had billions of buffalo they brought with them on them ships. And they let them go out there in, in the place running running in the land, and that's how this land got filled up with them. Right. Y'all didn't know that. You know, Gad brought buffalo with him on them ships. Amen. And that's how they had all those buffalo. And who killed them? The white man killed them yep. to destroy them from eating. Esau. And I eat buffalo meat. It's delicious. Huh. It was introduced to me by a Gadite named Red Hawk at the Shinnecock Indian Reservation. So you can be a hunter. And catch of any beast of fowl which may be eaten. Mm. Then the Lord said they must be they must that be may eaten. be eaten according be to what? To the law. law. According to the law. If you catch a swine, mm -mm. you cannot eat pig. Can't eat pig. Can't eat it. It's an so don't get your bow and arrow and shoot or get your rifle and shoot no spine. You mm. cannot eat pig. Come. Pangolins, you can't eat a bat flying in the sky like over there with them Polynesians, heathen people. Right. That somehow people think are Israel and they're not. Children are they're the Japhetic people. Yep. They eat bats. Japhetic. Chinese people eat rats and bats. Dogs. That's why they sick and got diseases. See what it says here? He shall even pour out the blood thereof and cut it uh, and cover it in the dust. So when you catch an animal, you kill it. Kill it. Now, if you go out there and catch a deer, or you're going to go up to the deer and say, Look, Bambi, I want you to come home with me. No, you're mm -hmm. going to take your rifle or your shoot it. Uh, bow and arrow, and you're going to put that animal to death. Kill now, where it tell you in the Bible you can't kill an animal? It's right there. You can kill an animal. That's part of your manhood. That's right. Con. Con out of one. You go out there and go hunting, man. You put on your camo gear. I love to do that. Yes, now, sneak up on them animals. Bop, bop. Then you cut them up, and then you eat them. But how do you eat them? You take the guts out and the blood out of the beast. The That's a law That's in a Israel. Law in Israel. Then you cook it. See that? But it's the life of the flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, you shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is in the blood thereof. Whosoever eat of it shall be cut off. Mm -hmm. That's why he said not to eat the blood of the animal. Right. Now these vegans running around here like little wimps. And like, he can't kill no animals. He just said it right the there. The Lord just told you to put the, the damn animal to, the to death. Animal to death. Must be a clean must beast. Must be clean beast. And then after you chop them up, Draw the blood put them and roast them in fire. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's the law in the Bible. Come. You don't eat raw meat. Right. You eat cooked meat. Cooked meat. So once you cook it and cure it, that's meaning you kick, take the blood out. That's nothing wrong with doing that. But why are people doing this? It's because of idols. Go. Let's go to Luke 16, 13. Let's go to Luke. The book of Luke. Chapter 16. All right. I showed you our laws. And we're going to go to the 13th verse. No servant, who are the servants of the Most High? The children of Israel. Huh. You brothers and you daughters. Amen. Most High. Children of you are the servants of the Most High. You have to serve him. It's a category in this ministry and in the camps. It's supposed to be in there for all brothers and sisters huh. according to the gospel. the gospel. Not according to your camp leader. That's right. All right? And it says, no servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold on to one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. Y'all hear that? Right. That means when the Most High give us some commandments, That's and right. somebody said, well, you got to do this according. No, you say, no, I ain't doing it. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. It's telling me my job. Cut your bed off. I said, I ain't cutting it off. That's part of my religious beliefs. My religious beliefs. You got to work. work on the Sabbath. Shabbat. I said, I ain't working on, on I'm, I'm teaching my people. My people. Keeping the Shabbat. And I said, let them know. Huh. I'm not doing that. Huh. I, I 
he had to render the Caesar was Caesar. The Lord told us that and rendered to the Lord was the Lord. Come. So now that I'm off the job, I'm rendering to the Lord now. Caesar, you can kiss him. Sorry. Come. So you can't serve two masters. Come. See? And I'm going to show y'all today what's wrong with some of our people in these camps and in these groups. They serving other gods. Right. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 13. Yep. I'm going to show you the Lord what he said. You heard what he just said. You can't serve two masters, right? right. You can't serve mammon and you can't serve the most high. It's impossible. You're going to love one and hate the other. So if somebody tell you to eat vegetables because somebody told them that you better find out where that doctrine is coming from. Right. It's a doctrine of devils. Doctrine of devils. It's an idol behind it. Huh. Thou shalt fear the Lord your power in verse 13 of Deuteronomy. 6.13 Fear the Lord your power, your hollow, and serve Him. So when we come to the service like tonight, you serve in the Most High. Amen. Okay? When you go to the Sabbath service, you serve in the Most High. When you go to the Passover, and when you pray, pray. when you so keep the commandments, keep the commandments. you serve in the serve Most High. The most That's high. what he means by service. See what it says here? Uh... And shall swear by his name. And shall swear by his name. Ye shall uh, not go after other gods. Y'all hear that? That's right. That's why when we catch y'all doing that, we cut y'all yep. with the scriptures. That's right. Down in Haiti, it blow your brains out in the damn bed. Oh. We yeah. reprove people with the Bible. That's the sport. That's right. See? We don't do that. The most I said, don't put your hands on no man. No woman, don't do right. that. We're not no murderers, we're, right. priests. we're priests. We're ambassadors. We're, ambassadors. we're showing our people, look, you got to do what the Lord said to do, you got to repent. Say some of our people are wild animals out there, murderers, man. Huh. You should not go after other gods. Of the gods of the people which are around about you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you tonight, veganism comes from gods of the nations. That's right. And these simple-minded Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans, or the Israelites, right. are following other gods and doctrines. We just read it in the book of Timothy. Okay. See what it says? For the Lord your power is a jealous power among you. Lest the anger of your holy, thy power, be kindled against thee, and destroy thee from oh, off the face of the earth. Of the earth. Mm. That's what we're dealing with, your holy. He don't play don't and when you mess around with these other gods, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. 1 Corinthians. Didn't the scripture say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom? Mm -hmm. yep, so we have, I, I'm afraid of them too. I don't think I am afraid of them. I'm afraid of the Lord. Why do you think I'm on the air? Because I'm afraid that the most high gonna do something to me if I don't teach my people where he told me. So yeah. he about, didn't I tell you go teach? Yes, sir. He got to tell me twice. I'm gone. Pew! Come on. Mm. Those who gotta get dragged out of the bed, sisters gotta roll out the sheets, gotta tell them twice, three, four times. Man, I don't wanna deal with people like that. If you ain't got no faith, you ain't mm -hmm. gonna be here. If you got faith, you Come. are here. You are blessed. Come. See what it says here? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. But I say, who says that all the time? <laughs> I say, I say, you know what that is, that old fool. I say, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice on the devils. The devil. Gentile means non-Israelite people. People. Yeah. Get that in your notes. The word Gentile, look it up in the Bible dictionary, means non-Israelite nation or people. So the Lord says, the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. To devils. Y'all hear that? Okay. And not, and not Yahweh. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. That's what we're trying to tell y'all. Mm -hmm. Stop Dealing with these damn doctrines of devils out here. Come. And I keep telling people, these women put on a 
garments and he got on him and he looking all pretty and stuff. Yeah, my name is sister such and so and I'm looking good and all that. and then they ain't keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments. Here they come with a vegan doctor doctrine. Brothers, wearing their hair all this and that, they put on a turban. We don't eat meat, brother. <laughs> what up? Because we don't want to kill animals. We don't want to get sick. There's diseases and all. <laughs> the Lord said, don't be righteous don't be about, about much. Y'all going off doing right. it, man. Right. You're breaking the dietary laws. Yep, See? The so it says, you cannot drink the uh, cup of the Lord. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. Yep. What's on these tables? Doctrine of devils. Doctrines of devils. See? So let's deal with the doctrines of devils. See what he says. First, let's go to Proverbs 15 and 8. Proverbs goes with this one. Chapter 15, verse 8. Listen to this real good. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8 says this, people. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You hear that? If these nations are celebrating Christmas, New Year's, Halloween, eating on 4th of July, any other thing other than our commandments in the Bible is an abomination. So when Israel go out there with these nations and bring their doctrines in to us, he just said, don't follow the what? The gods of the people that surround you. Now there's a new horde a new one. coming to us now. A new one. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Hosea, right? right. Chapter, four. Chapter 4. There's a new horde coming now. Now we got this veganism. Man. Don't eat meat. Who, who's teaching that? Brothers and sisters that's in hoarders. Let's go to Hosea chapter 4, right? Here you go right here. Hosea chapter 4. And let's start at uh, verse 11. Listen to this. Hoarder and wine and new wine take away the heart. Hoarder and wine and new wine take away the heart. What's the new hoarder and wine? Veganism. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's an extreme form of vegetarianism. And through the term was coined in 1944, the concept of flesh avoidance can be traced back to the ancient Indian and Eastern Mediterranean societies. Y'all hear that? Mm. This stuff mm -hmm. came from the East. Were we in the East at one time? We yes, we were. We were in the middle of Jerusalem, and all these nations was around us. That's why the most I say, don't follow these nations around you, people. You got these nations around you with these doctrines of devils. And all the Gentiles worshipped their devil. And what was the biggest thing Israel did? They went and learned of the devils of the nations. And that's why we in this condition right now, mm -hmm. these people. 500 BCE, vegetarianism, uh, mentioned by Greek philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras. So this guy went around and he was checking out these nations' uh, mm -hmm. ideologies. It started in India, okay? The homeland of Hinduism mm. derived from ancient Vedic times. So this came from ancient times. Satanic. A sishma. Non injury to animals and humans. It's a philosophy. That's right. A his okay. uh, sorry. That's what they call it. Damn I. And this philosophy which came from these people Elon. said, don't hurt animals, but that's against the law, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Didn't the Lord say kill the animal and bleed them up? That's right. Amen. So how are you going to tell us not to hurt an animal? This is what they invented. Uh, the Victor Velda book, Bangladesh uh, Gita book, The God Ach, Ach, 
knee high. Mm. And the writings conducted by the flesh, uh, uh, they, these writers condemned the flesh eaters. This is what they did. And I'm going to show you who uh, our knee is. You ever seen this before? Mm. This right. is what our people are worshiping when you're vegan. Yep. I don't care if you say you're going to Sabbath. It. You come to my Sabbath service mm -hmm. and I find out you're dealing with this, get you get out. cut and put out the congregation. Out the congregation. You don't bring them other guys amongst us. This is the Lord's business. You don't bring this is what out they out are worshiping here. in veganism. This is an idol. What does it say in okay. Psalms 96 and 5? The, God the gods the of the nations God. are idols. So, but the Lord made the heavens and earth. Come. Don't serve other gods. That's right. And this is what they're serving. And in these so-called Negroes, what's in the Puerto Ricans, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Come. Where this came from. These doctrines came from them, from the East Indian people. Hinduism, Buddhism, mm. preach the doctrine of Asigasa. The Greek ambassador and mega themes in the third century AD and Chinese Buddhist monks Fasim in the fifth century AD observed Indians refraining from eating meat. So this thing spread to the east. in the east at that time. That time. And so Buddhists, if you see Buddhists, damn idols. Y'all recognize this picture here? Look at that. Who's that? Idol. Ain't that Buddha? Damn idol. That's Buddha. So this philosophy we went from India over there to China. The and devil. the Chinese being vegan saves two lives each time one sits and eats. Human and animal. You see that? Mm. So behind all of this garbage you call veganism right. is East Indian Elon, Elon, people of Elon in oh. the Bible. That's what their nationality was. And they're idol gods. Idol, I, idol gods. So when you see them doing that, they're protecting the cow. Moo, 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 moo. What, 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 what? I just had some steak today. I ate a cow. <laughs> what are they going to do? They going to throw me under the bus? I had some steak for my dinner today. Cooked. Rice and beans and vegetables on the side. With a nice glass of juice. <laughs> Amen. This is an animal. Go. Did the Lord tell us to worship animals? You know who used to worship these animals? Lord Sheena on Nandi. What the hell? This is an East Indian concept a myth. of them riding on bulls and these pagan gods. It is. Lord Shiva. Y'all ever heard of Shiva? Damn idol. This is an East Indian myth. Myth. Idol. Idol. God. And right. you can find all this information right online. That's why I got this from. Mm. So where did this yeah. stuff come from? I will help our people. Get this book called The Two Babylons by Alexander Heisler. The bull first of us showed his face in Babylon. In Babylon. Babylon. I'm going to show y'all this. The bull first showed his face and with Nimrod. Y'all remember Nimrod? Nimrod was the first wicked empire on the planet mm -hmm. Earth. That's right. In this book on page 38, they show you the bull with Nimrod's head on. Mm -hmm. And then over here, it says, bull from Petropolis. East India, mm. right here. Come on. And I'm going to read this caption to you what it said about this. These idols started in Babylon, then it spread, and then they turned it into veganism later on. This is what it says right here. Page 35, 37 of the last paragraph. Nimrod, as the head of the captain of those men of war by whom he surrounded himself and he uh, was uh, instruments of establishing his power was Baal-Aram. That means Baal that was doing human sacrifice back then. Lord of the mighty ones. But Baal-Aram, that's the same thing. It says pronounced nearly the same way. Signified the winged one 
Therefore, in symbol, he was re represented not only as a horn bull, mm. but as once a horn and winged bull, as showing not merely that he was mighty himself, but he had mighty ones under his command. And this is how they were ruling over there in these areas. And Nimrod put the bull as a sacred animal. And this bull worship and animal worship right. spread through the east. Yep. And today, here goes simple Israel yep. once again. Once again. Our Hop. ignorant Hop. people Hop. saying, we don't eat animals. So you practicing right. Asis Musa. Practicing the way. Denying injury to animals and humans, which comes mm. from this pagan god right, right here. Damn idol. Agni. So you're not worshiping Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You're double minded. Yep. And if you're double minded, the Lord said, if you're hot, He's going to keep you with Him. If you're yep. cold, He's going to spit you out of His mouth. Spit you out of his you mouth. You cannot serve the Lord in manner. Right. And these are doctrines of men. And that's where this veganism came from. And our people today are still running around here with these things. And I'm going to show you some scientific studies about uh, deficiencies when you become a vegan. Listen to this. Following a vegan diet can cause you to develop some deficiencies. Mm. What's a deficiency? That means your body, the Lord made your body mm. to eat fruits, vegetables, meats, Meat. barley, all clean beasts of the Bible. Mm -hmm. When you go outside of that, like Negroes eating pork. Right. That's right. That's why our people get high blood, high blood pressure, pressure and eat millions diabetes. of us are dying. Yep. Feet swell up, we get sugar diabetes. Why? Right. And it comes from slavery and <laughs> colonialism of the white man. He forced you to eat pork. Yep. He forced you to eat abominations yep. until this very day and our people ain't coming out of that mentality of slavery. Is Israel a servant, a homeborn slave? Yep. Yeah, you damn right you are. And you don't want to come out of it because y'all stuck in these forums because you're going by these doctors and devils. And it says here, following a vegan diet can cause you to develop some deficiencies in vitamin D, calcium, omega-3, fatty acids, zinc, impact on bones, and weak immune system. Y'all want that? Mm -mm. That's why you see them vegans in the wintertime they have a cold on and they be, I'm cold. I say, you know why you're cold? Because you ain't got no fatty acids in your body. You ain't got no meat. Protein was made so that your body can muscle. make muscle, muscle and can be strong. strong. And you sisters too. Right. Then y'all eat vegan and y'all get flat. Yep. You look all uh, skinny, your neck sticking out like that. Sure. You coughing. <laughs> then when you get cold, you get a cold, you get sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. And then you see all these athletes. You know what the athletes are doing? They're mixing veganism with steroids. Mm -hmm. And they're getting online, this is a vegan body. I'm a bodybuilder. They're taking steroids and they're refraining from me. But you know what's going to happen? Later on down the road, bone fractures, immune system deficiencies, high blood pressure, rashes, and fatigue. That's what you're going to get for following. And look at all them vegans. They're skinny as hell. And these brothers and sisters that's into veganism right. is teaching paganism. That's right. Can I prove it? Let's go. Yes, I can. Let's go. We showed you where it came from and how it came from. Let's go and show you what the Bible says about it. Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 4. Let's go. Let's go there. First Corinthians chapter nine. You are now argue with this. Right, argue with this vegan. You so-called vegans out there. It says, as concerning therefore the eating of those things which are sacrificed under the idol. So when you go into veganism, you're following agony. Okay, that's what you're following. You're following these East Indian uh, and Buddhist 
Right. And a lot of you are Buddhists out there too. Mm. All right? And you're yeah. following these uh, yeah. idols and devils and doctrines mm. of devils. Yeah. And they're telling you not to eat meat. That's why you see them people all skinny, flat, and women is flat, because they ain't got no protein in your body. Yeah. The Lord made the animals for you to eat. That's why he put it in the law. Right. He know what he's doing. Oh, he's, a he's a supreme. His knowledge is infinite, infinite. above yours. Hallelujah. You see what it says here? First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 4. As concerning things of uh, eating, uh, the eating of those things which are offered and sacrificed on the idols. So that's what y'all sacrificing to. Idols. Idols. Agni. Okay? And the ones who are just doing that, you're condemned in the Bible. And it says here, right. we know that the idol is nothing in the world. Mm. And there is none other power but oh, one. Point. And didn't he give us one law? Yes. The moral, civil type and, uh, moral, civil and dietary laws oh. and ceremonial laws. We must follow. For though let there be all called gods, whether in heaven or earth, and there be gods many and lords many. Mm -hmm. You see that? See that? East Indian is called this God. <laughs> and ain't, ain't nobody idle. Nobody idle. <laughs> Psalms 96 and, 96 and 5. But to us, there is but one Yahweh, right. the Father of whom all things. We in yeah. him. And one, one Yahweh Shah, by whom, by whom are all things, things and, and we by him. him. How be it? How be it that there is, there is no, not in every man that knowledge. knowledge. Y'all hear that? Mm. This knowledge is not even amongst some of us. Right. It's amongst the elect of Israel, elect of and we're Israel. telling y'all, this is what you're into when you're a vegan. You're a vegan. And when you're a vegan, you're dealing with idols, and you're sacrificing the idols, and you're getting sick, and the Most High don't accept that. Come. You must serve the Most High. You cannot serve two masters. Amen. And I ask y'all, do you know the Lord? Know what y'all tell me? I, brother, I don't know. I said, listen, cool. do you know your how? How do you know your how? Cool. How do you know those who are following your how? Let's show you this. First John, chapter 2, New Testament. First John, chapter 2, New Testament. Try the spirit, follow the spirit. Y'all right, following your how? Or you following... Agni. Following Which one you follow? I'm following Yahweh. He said, "Don't eat things sacrificed to idols." This is where these idol rituals come from. We pray for meat, man, and don't eat animals, and don't harm the animals, don't kill the animals. That's effeminate. That's right. Come. On. And a lot of East Indian men are effeminate, man. That's right. Come. On. Cause they dealing with these idols. Hmm. See what it says here. Oh. Uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we know him, or do know that we know him if you know Yahweh and you claim to be an Israelite and you walking around here wearing our fringes, right. wearing our border of blue, and you wearing our garments, but yet you ain't following the law as we are. Right. What are you? You're a damn hypocrite. And I tell you in your face, your mother and that damn guru negro that's teaching y'all this. That's right. You're a guru. That means you're teaching dots and your devils. <laughs> that's what you are. Yeah. And hereby we uh, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Yeah. Didn't the commandments say eat me? Yep. We read it. Didn't the commandment say kill the animals and go hunting for them right. and take the blood out? Take the guts and drop. So out. then, this is an idol. Yep. And the ones that's following this with their skinny little anorexic bodies, you're going to get sick and you hear the deficiencies. Huh. Why put yourself through that? He said, what? Uh... He that says, I know him, and keep him not his commandments, is a liar. Mm -hmm. He's a liar. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. 
So you vegans out there, Israelites, you're liars. Right. And I'm going to run all y'all offline. Don't come to me with that garbage. Come. You sisters and you brothers. Come. Because somebody lied to you and gave you this God here. Okay. And we're not serving this That's right. garbage. This garbage. That's right. This is garbage. That's right. This is an idol. An idol. This is a devil. A devil. So you're not serving your house because right. you're not keeping the commandments. commandments. See what it says here? He that says, I know him, and you gotta know all the books. Yeah, you know there's 300 and some odd books of the Bible, but you ain't keeping keep none of the commandments and doing them. You're, you're a carbon copy. That's all you are. You went to a Sabbath service and the brother told you that, and now you're running in the street thinking you know it all. Ain't in a camp. Right. Ain't in a congregation. Ain't in a macabre. You ain't in nothing. You just a wild grape. A wanderer. Talking about you an Israelite. You a hypocrite and a liar. That's right. He that says I know him and keep not with his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. For whosoever keepeth his word, and him verily is the love of Yahweh perfected. Whereby, hereby know we that we are in him. Here's another scripture that shows you that. <laughs> My old red body. Talking about they in the Lord. We got a lot of fake Israelite camps out here. And we here to rebuke and reprove and pull down and throw down all the deception and get our people out of them hands of those sinister ministers. And put them in the hand of the Lord so they can be saved. Here's another scripture, 1 John Read that. chapter 3, verse. and it says this, in verse 24, 24, and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him, and whereby we know uh, that he abideth in us by the spirit which he has given us. Mm. That's the spirit of the Lord. Amen. And if you ain't doing that, and you following veganism, you're a liar. That's right. You're a liar. Oh. You men and you brothers and sisters, you are serving Agni. Oh. The God of the East Indian people, the gods of the Moabites, they call it Hinduism, and all these other doctrines of devils. That's right. Oh. So the Lord told us to do what? Go to Isaiah 6 and 10. Go to Isaiah 6 and 10. Here tonight. Here. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 10 says this. Do what it says. 6 chapter verse 10. It says. Uh, make make the heart of this people fat. And make their eyes heavy. And shut their eyes. And say, see with their heart, uh, their, their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. So some of us gonna hear this and get healed. Huh. How do we get healed? Go to Psalms 107, verse 17. So they're running around here saying, drink vegetable juice and eat vegetables, and you're gonna get healed from this sickness the Lord put on you. I don't think so. Let's go to Psalm 107. This is not what the scriptures say. Yes, this is the Lord's opinion. Okay. Not mine. See what it says here? Psalms 107. We're going to start at uh, verse 17. It is written. Fools, because of their transgressions, are our people foolish? Yep. Come on. Are our people foolish, man? We go to our people and they hate us because we tell them the truth. They hate us because we telling you stop celebrating these holidays. Right. We they telling you stop following these nations right. and their veganism, which right. is for them. Y'all hate us that. But it's okay. Yahweh loves us. Yahweh love Shai gonna save us. Gonna save so he said what? Verse 17. It says what? Psalms 107, verse 17. Fools because of their transgressions and because of their iniquities are afflicted. This is why our people are sick. 
That's why they mentally and physically sick right now. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Got something to do with your rebellion against his law. And he put this on them. Their soul had hauled all manner of meat, and they draw now unto the gates of death. Yeah. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Amen. So tell the vegans what the Lord said. Amen. They cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And he saved, and he them. saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them. That's how you get healed. How many of our people come into the assembly meetings to get their medicine? Because mm -hmm. many of us are sick. <laughs> Go to Matthew chapter 9, verse 11. Last scripture for tonight. Matthew chapter 9. And verse 11. It is written. And when the Pharisees saw it, and they said, Why eat your master with publicans and sinners? And when Yahawashah heard that, he said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Sick. See, Yahweh Our people are the ones that are sick mentally and spiritually. Spiritually. And you ain't going to be cured by a glass of juice right. with vegetable juice in it. That's right. You're going to drop and blow away. Huh. But go and learn what that means. And not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but, but sinners, sinners to repentance. To repentance. That's the that's the call. That's what you got to do. You got to repent, and like repent. it says in Mark chapter one, verse fourteen and fifteen, repent and believe in this gospel, gospel. and follow not your own understanding, mm -hmm. and follow not the ways of these nations. Amen. Eat your meat the way the Lord told you in the Bible. Sorry. Be healthy and exercise. There's nothing wrong with you exercising and getting your temple in order. Exercise. I do all type of exercise. I walk. I do weight work. I do martial arts. I do all of that. But I make sure I keep these commandments, keep these commandments. and eat these healthy foods in the Bible. In the Bible. Herbology, 